I do it for the viewer, you know? It's all about delivering that exciting experience. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> too exciting, too exciting. Hey everyone, I'm Tom and welcome to Epic Brew. Each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I feature a neat new indie game that I think you'll enjoy. And today I have Climb Bros. It's a mountain climbing game with some wacky physics spaghetti rope style stuff. <laughs> It seems like it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm eager to check it out. Got a quote from the developer, so here we go. Let's find out what Climb Bros is all about. All right, so this is Climb Bros. I, oh, Panda Bear. I just did the tutorial. And so I feel, oh, there's a, a goat as a motorcycle flies by my window. Goodness gracious. I did the tutorial. Oh my goodness. You want to believe it by what I just did. But I do know how to mountain climb. I have been to a rock climbing gym once before so I am basically an expert at mountain climbing and I've been told to follow the arrow to get to my objective which I don't know what it is it's just an arrow okay so it's Rapunzel here uh, why did I do this I don't know sometimes I just do things in this game uh, not because definitely not because I forget the controls no 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 <laughs> But uh, I do things, I just want to explore, you know, I want to see what's what's around. So let's talk to this lady. Uh, she wants to give me some extra crystals. She wants a pizza, but the boy was really lazy. He said that he's not willing to climb up to the tower, so he'll just drop my pizza at the ski. Oh, he's just going to drop it at the ski? Okay. Could you bring me my pizza? Here's the money. Hurry. Okay. So, in Climb Bros you're given these little objectives to complete and you must complete them within the allotted time frame it is essentially the levels are one gigantic obstacle course if you're familiar with a game I previously played called Lonely Mountains Downhill it's similar in concept to that so you have a big mountain and you have all these little objectives to complete as you make your way in this case up the mountain or you know back down because I guess I'm gonna have to bring the pizza back down to her here and yeah, so it's it's like a funky, kind of physics-based, arcadey adventure game, and I really like it. And I'm gonna try not to look like an idiot while I try to get this pizza pie for the girl in the tower, who's definitely not Rapunzel. There was a giant snake I just leapt over like Indiana Jones. That was cool. Oh, bird. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm still good. I'm still good. I got a ballerina back up there though. Apparently the flock of fruit loop birds are heading home for the winter or the summer. I don't know where they go. Oh, uh, apparently the checkpoint's down here. Cool, I just wiped out into that bird. So I'm playing with the Xbox controller. I imagine you could probably play with mouse and keyboard, but that seems like a crazy person thing to do. So <laughs> I recommend the controller if you certainly if you have one okay getting close i think i'm getting close to the top of the mountain i'm seeing snow that's usually an indicator that i am close to the mountain mountain top anyway okay i'm just gonna drop down jump up that's a uh standard mountain climber move the old uh missed what i was going for uh just to get it from another directional situation oh no oh no oh my goodness <laughs> the trees collapse if you stay on them for too long so you always want to be on the move hey llama how you doing llama how you doing today llama okay okay so it's right here i made it I almost fell off the entire mountain i did it well done i got the pizza uh, 100 crystals added. Oh, apparently I got an achievement. Very nice. Uh, what is... I gotta talk to this person. Did you order that pizza? I was told it was a pizza boy. You look like a girl. That'll be 100 crystals. Bye. So I, I have to pay it? Rapunzel didn't even give me any money. Oh, no. That was close. That was terribly close. You can die in this game. You can die. It's very easy to die in this game. If you fall, free fall for too long, nothing will save you. Even if you do grab a ledge, you'll just wipe out when you grab it. 
or you'll just break every bone in your body if you throw your harpoon out <laughs> and it yanks you into smithereens. So, you know, it's all about the careful jumps. These Indiana Jones style jumps are, they're pretty risky, but you know, gets the job done pretty quick. So I do it. I take the chance. I take the chances for the views, for the likes, for the subscribes. I do it for the viewer, you know? It's all about delivering that exciting experience. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> too exciting, too exciting. That was, that was too exciting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to, uh, okay, good. Right here, back down here. It's, uh, you know, exactly where I, exactly where I want it to be. Really, really, exactly where I want it to be. I think this green stuff is, oh, bird. I think the green stuff, what, he came back. He's coming back. He's trying to attack me. The green stuff is tree sap, I think. Because I, when I climbed into it, it slowed me down. Maybe it's amber, not tree sap, because where are the trees, you know? Can I grab that? Okay. And then now I just need to go down here. I think I'm getting close. Track aborted. How did I abort the track? I was following the flag. I have to go all the way back up now. Oh no. I don't understand how I aborted the track. God, I'm like Tarzan going through here. Look at me go. Holy moly, where's the Phil Collins soundtrack? Not the not the lame one that Rosie O'Donnell's saying. I'm talking about Son of Man, you know? The one where the the gorilla mama finds him in the boathouse. And then the cheetah comes in. You know what I'm talking about. Is it a jaguar? Or a cheetah? Probably a jaguar because they're in the jungle, right? Eventually, I'll be able to grab that corner. Eventually. I don't, actually don't think I'm going to be able to. Nope. There we go. So I can, I'll just do that, you know? I will just do that and then I can swing out this way. I like, uh... Me talking about Tarzan completely ruined the illusion that I was Tarzan. If there's any doubt in your mind, I'm not really Tarzan. I think my name's Marco and I'm player one. Speaking of that, I know it's obvious I'm playing by myself, but from what I gathered from the gameplay trailer... Oh jeez. I got so excited about talking about multiplayer that I almost fell off the mountain. From the uh, yeah, from the gameplay trailer, there's actually a multiplayer mode that you can play with a few friends if you are so inclined to do something like that. And the cool thing about it is, oh geez, uh, the cool thing about it is you're all tethered together on the same rope. So you kind of have to. <laughs> okay, this is getting silly. This is getting silly. I'll get up there eventually. So you'll have to work together to move around since like if, if one friend wants to go left, the other one wants to go right and you want to go up, you guys are going to go nowhere because you're all pulling each other in separate directions and the rope's only so long. So it's kind of like a puzzle in that way. You have to figure out where you can go with your friends. And then you have to execute it. Oh no, please don't, please don't get me bird. I think I'm getting close. I think she's right down here. I think, where is, where is this girl? I don't remember climbing up so high. Okay, I'm getting close. Track aborted, it's tell it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. So yeah, multiplayer looks fun. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, I should, I'm paying close attention to the arrow now. It's in the bottom left. See if I can just drop down and get it. There we go. Moving back around this way. Up. Oh. oh, almost. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Jump across, grab it, got it, good. Swinging on down. Swing it on down. I hear I hear that monkey again. 
He's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe he'll be one of my... Ooh, dodge that bird. That was a pro move. Dodge the bird. Okay, I'm going to just drop down again. He's telling me straight down. See, now it's telling me to go left. And I feel like when I do go left, it says I abort the track. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. There we go. Going back up. Here it is. I wonder why it was telling me that the track was aborted the past couple times I did it. That's strange, but we did it. We did it. Well done. 100 crystals. I'm rich. <laughs> what do I do now? Wow, it's still warm. Here's some pocket money. Alright, I did it. I did it. Let's see what else is down here. Actually, I'm going to climb all the way to the top. I want to see what's at the top of the mountain. Because I want to end this video on the highest peak of the highest point on the first level's highest mountain. <laughs> if I can dodge these damn birds, that'll be golden. Oh no, why did that let go? <laughs> why did that let go? Okay, I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to swing out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able... I know what I gotta do. I gotta do this. Out. And then swing in a little bit more. Get that. And then I should just be able to... Well, it's not like... It's, okay, birds. Calm down, birds. Calm down, birds. Oh, the ice is slippery. Oh my goodness, I almost died. Oh, that was almost the end of me. Because if you fall from this height, there's no coming home. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this. There's an airplane guy up here in a hot air balloon. Hello, ostrich. So you want to learn to fly? We've created a path made of balloons that leads to our skydiving base. Unfortunately, we don't have many customers. I wonder... I wonder why people find our base too hard to reach. Give it a try. I bet you won't regret it. I I don't know why. I was just so excited about finding this. I just jumped off the mountain. <laughs> okay. So. I'm climbing the hot air balloon. This is how we're ending this video. Oh, wow. The wind. The wind is blowing me. Like crazy. Oh, I noticed there's little like air indicators <laughs> I don't know how my grappling hook isn't popping the hot air balloons but uh, you know I'm not going to complain because this is pretty awesome apparently I have to go back down oh okay I did it that wasn't so hard welcome to the first skydiving base in the world I'm pretty surprised you've made it here. To be honest, we've never had a single customer. Anyway, you're here to skydive, am I right? I mean, sure, let's do it. We don't have any parachutes, but we've got insurance. <laughs> Sign here, give me the money, and jump when you're ready. Have fun. Press X. Am I really gonna pay this guy $500 to do this? You bet I am. Here we go. I missed it. Let's restart that, let's restart that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Confirm. Let's try to get this this time. And I got it. Here we go. Here we go. That was it. I did it. I got the achievement fearless. And on that note, because I'm so I'm a brave boy now, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna end the video. So yeah, that's Climb Bros. The developer was kind enough to send me a code. So that's how we got here, checking this game out. And I really like this game. It's fun. It's a little fun arcadey physics based game and I bet it's even more fun with a couple of friends to mess around with and kind of just <laughs> have a good time with so yeah if you like the video like the video please be sure to subscribe to catch new indie game videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday new more how videos every Tuesday and Thursday and new Skull the Hero Slayer videos every single day of the week thank you so much for watching 
and I'll catch you next time.